Look, it's hard, hard to say where it comes from. I, I, I think fishing must be in your blood, it must be in your brain, must be in your genes. I think I was the next person in our family that just took up the sport and, and the passion, so I believe it's in the genes. Fishing is hard to explain. It's like playing poker. You've got a few cards in your hand, but you never know what card's going to come next. That little bit of unknown, you know, we, we, we study this game and we, we think we get ahead of it, but um, it always surprises you and you, you never know what's going to come next. And I think it's that, that little bit of mysteriousness that, that keeps me going. You look at most other sports and you, you practice and you try and become the best you can. You can do everything right and better than everybody else and still fail on the day. Or you can do everything wrong, everything the wrong way around, backwards, and you can catch the fish of a lifetime. But I think that's what takes us to the ocean time after time. You just can't get it out of the system. As a young guy in my early 20s, um, I, I started fishing for the EPA side, our provincial side, quite, quite early. I had one or two good results and I made the, the SA president side, I think about three or four, maybe five times. I never quite made it to, to top honors. Me and my, my wife moved overseas. We spent about 10 years there. There was always something missing. It's, um, it's like something, there was definitely something missing in my life and it was eating at me. So when we came back after spending 10 years overseas, I said, oh, I'll give this competitive fishing another shot. And I ended up finishing about 120th out of 140 anglers. So I was going to throw in the towel left, to be honest. <laughs> I said, no, I'll, I'll just work hard over it and uh, just give it another go. Well, I can remember the night I was called out as, um, as a member of the South African team for the first time. It was, a, it, was a, it was a serious, serious, serious occasion in my life, I have to be honest. And um, I've been very fortunate and I must be honest, lucky at a few times, but um, I've had a nice run now. It's my sixth consecutive year in the Protea side. And, um, and every time you get picked, it's, it's a privilege and honor because the, the competition is there. I'm not getting any younger. The, the light is fishing better and better. And um, you just have to fish every tournament as it could be your last. You never know. I've been involved with uh, Penn as a pro angler from 2014. I, I think the highlight for me is the fact that we get to test new stuff. If you're angler and you're passionate about angling, you like to have new stuff in your hand, look at new stuff, try new stuff. And I think that's, that for me is the highlight, um, working with um, Pure Fishing and Pen, is the, the fact that we get to test new goodies before, sometimes a year before the average man on the street gets to touch it. So that for me is brilliant. Also, I'm very fortunate that um, I've, I've, I've got a few colleagues as pro anglers that have fished with me in the Protea side, and that's actually very good friends of mine, and um, that I fish with quite often. So it's not really like we're just colleagues, we're actually friends, and um, we all get along fantastically, and uh, it's just fun. We have a job. <laughs>